The content of this feature contains uncensored material. This is a private presentation for select personnel only. Any rebroadcast, redistribution, or otherwise of this footage is strictly prohibited and may result in disclosure fines up to $250,000. While certain ideas and information will be released in this presentation, other key scenes, characters, plot lines, and promotional strategies will remain under strict secrecy until investor contracts have been fully negotiated. Ideologies clashing. La tensión del juego ha causado otra pelea acá en Lansing High School. What started off as a typical school day ended in tragedy today at Virginia Tech. A student has killed 32 people before committing suicide. Violence continues to escalate in our school systems. This latest footage is from a Macon County High School bus. Here we see juveniles brutally attacking each other over a racial slur. Five minors were seriously injured in this afternoon's melee. This movie will shock you and inspire you. It'll make you cry. They're gonna be mad. It's sad, it's happy, it's funny. This is taking it to a whole nother level. It's gonna be such a great experience for our watchers. It's kind of like a shock at all type situation when they go see this movie. You have to really prepare for it. You're kind of going on a psychological head trip. It's just a big roller coaster ride. It's a very emotional movie. You go from being happy one moment to sad to angry. Uh, people are in for a shocker. Once you start watching it, you're not going to want to stop watching it. Bad kitties, roll so one, scene one, I take one. Seven girls, some of which grew up together. You start seeing this lovely family and you just, right off the bat, you're like, oh. It's going to be one of those movies. It's going to be a good, feel good, you know, everything's going to be okay. And, and then you start seeing that there's a little, some little brown spots and bad things happen. These girls are obsessed with cats, always have been since a very young age. They started the kitty club. They refer to themselves as kitties. They have a gang sign that they flash, looks like whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. The police, when they get a hold of this footage, well, they think, well, we're gonna release this as a motion picture and try to have people to help to find these girls. And they are the kitties but they're not going to release the movie and call it case ID number 429-er. Uh, they decide to go ahead and release it and just call it Bad Kitties. What they've done because of the popularity of reality TV is they've actually cut these small takes into one continuous film. What the audience is not going to realize is that they're actually going to help the police find these girls with this footage. And the reality craze is out there. The police are looking for help from the media any outlet they can get. And that's why they're putting together this footage. So we see Katrina and her friends when they're young and we see them uh, with all of these unfortunate surroundings and situations that happen to them. And then really the next time in the film that we pick up, they're in high school, we see really what has become of them as a result. Katrina is the aggressor the alpha cat, she hides behind dark hair and blank stares and through a series of very unfortunate events becomes very exposed and weak. <laughs> Katie Bay is Katrina's younger sister. She had a really rough childhood and I guess that affected her in her later life so now she goes on through high school and her personal life just doing the wrong thing down the wrong path. Jamie is Katrina's best friend since they were five. She's tough and she can be aggressive. At the same time, she can be passionate and has certain things that she's extremely loyal to. Jamie follows behind Katrina quite a bit, but at the same time, she knows when to take her spot as a leader. 
Sammy is loyal. She's there. She wants to be, she wants to stop all of the madness that happens, but she goes in on it at the end with all of them because she's very loyal to them. She would do anything for the six of her friends. You may think of Sammy as the weakest link, but she'll surprise you. Rachel is aggressive and she also is outgoing. She doesn't mind throwing a couple punches here and there to defend her friends. Also, she is closer to Miley, but she is best friends with everyone else. But her and Miley have this special connection. Well, Miley, uh, she seems to be very happy all the time, but uh, at the same time, she's very hurting in inside and, and very sad. What you find out about Miley will shock you. Beth is a documentary person of the whole movie. She videotapes the whole thing. She is outgoing, crazy, but at the same time a bit of a loner. She likes to see the world through the camera lens because then to her it's not real. She is part of the clique, but at the same time she'd much rather be alone and videotape everybody. What do you need this for, seriously? What are you yeah, doing? Like your like, do I look video? at your face? <laughs> I'm on yearbook staff. I take the video camera to make um, the yearbook for our senior year. I then actually steal the video camera to use it for my own fun, um, to videotape us and our stupidness. in your yearbook and shove it. <laughs> it's high school in a nutshell. It's like a typical high school. There's all these different cliques. You think something's gonna happen, you think you know the ending, or you think you know what this girl's gonna do, and it's the complete opposite. Oh, shit! <laughs> One unfortunate event just leads right into another and it kind of causes like a chain reaction. And next thing you know, you're in a world shit. You're going to feel a lot of pain for some of these people that we inflicted pain on mm -hmm. just because we were, we were, we didn't know and mm -hmm. nobody ever taught us to know the difference or to care. They're not bad, they just don't make smart decisions. It just kind of goes through their life showing how certain events can really change a person's life and lead them down the wrong road. We only care about what we're doing right now, what we're doing to make us happy. And so it may not be as much as whether or not we're book smart, it's the fact that we're not smart enough to think about how our actions are going to affect What's other next? people. Yeah. We need the party! My friends have officially lost it. No, I don't have to do everything you said. Go, 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 he gives you what? He gives you what? No, 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 no. Wait. What does he give you? What does he give you? He gives, um, what is it? What is it? I don't know drugs. I mean, we watch movies together all the time. He gives you drugs and you watch movies? No! Jeff. Stay with her. No, stay with her. There's still multiple scenes that are heavy and that are tough to um, to come into and come out of. Jamie! 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 
everything that we that we feel, like all the crying scenes, all the angry scenes. I know you're playing somebody else. I don't think anybody ever really acts because there has to be a part of you in that character. There's something in you that makes you feel that way. You put yourself in that character. Whether you're feeling angry about something else and not what your character is angry about, you're still feeling that way. You still can relate to it. So it's real. It's never acting. No! Uh, you get to a point where it, it does become difficult to find out if this is reality or if this is acting. That's what I can't understand. What is wrong with you girls? The emotions that we are showing the camera is what we're really feeling inside. It really is. And um, I think it'll come out in the film and I think they will leave the movie theater thinking this is real. I had no idea that it was going to be as real as it was. I was angry at her. I was very, very mad. She wasn't just giving up on her, she was giving up on everyone else who believed in her too. I think it's one of the most selfish things anyone could do. Not only are they going to be missed, everyone loves them. <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> we cried for a good 20 minutes after that scene. <laughs> Get, getting out of that's the hardest part. The way he helps you to get in the mindset of where you're supposed to be to prepare for these scenes, just, it's just incredible. It's just no one has ever made me go to that place in my mind, in my heart. Sometimes in a scene, you may have several emotions within two minutes. We are all better actors now mm -hmm. because of, of, of his unconventional techniques Definitely. to getting us into character and keeping us there and helping us build these relationships on and off camera. We are all better actors. Mm -hmm. And it was really important for him to become close with us because if the director wasn't close with us in this type of film, it wouldn't have been able to Yeah, because you definitely have to trust, trust. trust. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah. much that guy that's telling you to do things that um, that are just hard. I'll call for action, and right when I do that, Katrina's running out of here, and I'm gonna say, bang, you guys are gonna be right up behind her. Action! Look, ladies, just chill out, we're leaving. <laughs> what the? It's a very, very emotional movie and it's very like powerful and it could really hurt you when you see these these girls just ruin their lives like this. It's going to be a big eye opener for everyone. Those scenes are so powerful. It will affect you somehow. Doesn't matter your background, this is something for everyone. You'd be insane not to go see it.